Once you've decided you are ready to start a podcast, you kind of want to know how to record your voice, how to record audio to actually create podcast episodes. So in this video, we're going to break down our top recommendations for podcast recording software. Here we go. So the first scenario you're going to walk through is recording on your phone. If you're just getting started, it's a great place to start. Now, you will want to get a microphone to go into your phone. You don't want to just record with your speakerphone. That's not going to be great audio. If you want a recommendation, we'll link a video in the description where we walk through some different options. But once you have that microphone, there's two great options. If you have an iPhone, you can just open up Voice Memo. It's a pre-installed Apple app on your phone where you can record your audio and then airdrop that to your computer or edit it in GarageBand on your phone. But if you have an Android phone, there is another app that you can check out. It's Easy Voice Recorder. It's literally the name of the app and it is actually just that. It's an easy app to open, record your voice, and then save those audio files to use in your podcast episodes. Now let's walk through some options for if you're gonna plug a microphone into your computer. If you have a Mac, or an Apple computer of some kind, we're gonna recommend that you use GarageBand to record your audio. It has a lot of bells and whistles that are great if you have a actual GarageBand and you wanna mix different musical instruments and things like that, but it also works great for podcasting. You can record directly into GarageBand using any kind of external microphone that you can plug into your computer. You can record with friends if you have an interface or a mixer that supports multiple microphones all recording at the same time. And it even has the ability to edit your podcast episode. So if you're looking for an all-in-one solution, somewhere you can record and edit in the same place, GarageBand is great for Apple users. But if you have a Windows machine, then the software you're gonna to wanna to look into is called Audacity. It's a free software you can download on the internet and allows you to record and edit audio on Windows machines. But also if you have a Mac, or you're one of the 10 people in the world that uses Linux, you can also download it for your Linux computer. But if you want a pro option, something that costs a little bit of money but is gonna make your life really easy, I recommend you look into Hindenburg Journalist Pro. It is designed from the ground up to be dialed in for journalists and podcasters to edit audio narrations. So you can imagine it's gonna have all the tools that you need to not only record high quality audio, but edit it as well. Okay, confession time. I am a huge fan of Hindenburg Journalist Pro. Let's go Hindenburg! Woo! Hindenburg does not make t-shirts. So just let that sink in. So I am a big fan, but I'm a big fan because it's awesome. So if you're looking for free software, GarageBand and Audacity are great options. But if you want something more on that pro level that you're never gonna outgrow, you're never gonna you know, need to upgrade from, Hindenburg Journalist Pro, another great software solution. And last but not least, you may find yourself recording with a co-host or a guest that's not in the same place that you are. And so you can use the internet to record multiple people at the same time and turn that into a podcast episode. And we actually have three recommendations here. The first one is if you want something that's just really easy to use that works. And for that, we're gonna recommend Zoom. Zoom has a free plan that you can get started with. Most people have Zoom accounts or have used Zoom in the past. You don't have a lot of the technical hurdles that you might with other software options. So if you're just getting started and you want something for free, Zoom is a great choice. Now, if you really wanna dial in your audio quality and get the highest quality audio you possibly can, then we really like Riverside.fm. It records high quality audio from every single participant. You can have up to eight people recording at the time, which is probably four more than you need, but you got eight just in case, and then you can download that to your computer and edit it into a great podcast episode. And then if you want to do a YouTube channel and have a video podcast in addition to your audio podcast, we really like Squadcast because Squadcast records consistently high quality video and audio as separate tracks to give you full flexibility when you're putting your episodes together. So for internet software, we're able to record multiple people in different places in the world all at the same time. We recommend Zoom for ease of use, Riverside for audio podcasts, and Squadcast for video podcasts. So now that you know all of our recommendations, we'd love to know what software you plan on using to record your podcast. Just leave a comment below this video and we'd love to just get a sense of who's gonna be recording on their phone and on a computer and even on the internet. Once you have that audio recorded, you still need to edit it into a full podcast episode that you can push to Apple Podcasts and Spotify and the rest of the world. And so if you wanna learn how to do that, we have a full playlist here on our YouTube channel that walks through how to edit in GarageBand, in Audacity, in Hindenburg, and other softwares as well. So if you wanna watch 
that video next or the video that works for you, you can click the link in the description or this image right here on the screen to go look at that playlist, pick the software that you plan on using, and then walk through that step-by-step -step tutorial with us. So you know everything that you need to edit a great podcast episode. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, keep podcasting.